now, I've had him now for a couple of years. Um, he's a bit of an old man now. He's, I believe he's actually potentially blind. He's certainly not got very good eyesight now compared to when he was a, a young mouse. But as you can see, he is um, a, a little darling. And I use Mr. Jingle when I go to schools because I think it's really important to explain to children the importance of the predator-prey relationship with owls. And of course, having a tame small mammal, which is one of the species of small mammal that are taken by, by oh, he's just trying to bite my finger there, um, or he's taken, uh, taken by owls um, and other birds of prey, they're very, very important. And of course, it's very also very important that children understand that this cute little animal here is actually owl food. Now, of course, it's not owl food for my owls. Mr. Jingle is a very treasured little animal. And as you can see, as he cleans himself here, um, he's very, very comfortable with me. And he's chittering away at me because um, he's basically um, wanted me to give him some live food because what he likes most of all is live mealworms. So what I'm gonna do is give him another treat. We've got a few little fleas, here we go, mate. And as you can see, he's tucking into this high protein snack. So although Mr. Jingle does actually have a lot of seeds and um, um, millet, sunflower hearts, uh, that sort of food, um, and dried mealworms, live mealworms for him. Uh, well, it's like a roast dinner for him. So uh, that gives him uh, a good quality meal. And as you can see, he's very, very happy tucking into uh, to this little meal. And you're chittering away, aren't you? So as I say, it really is important in the countryside that we have lots of small mammals because that is the primary food for most species of British owl. And harvest mice that live in the wild, they live in areas where very often, unfortunately, their habitat is heavily managed. So as they populate um, a field of crops, at a peak point for the growing calendar, the harvest mice are going to fall victim to combine harvesters and other farm equipment. So harvest mice numbers over the recent generations have actually declined dramatically and they are um, a, a small species that now are really under a lot of pressure because of the intensive way that we manage the countryside. And not only are harvest mice affected by that, but of course lots of other small mammals, in particular field voles, are affected. And that has a knock-on effect to birds of prey and in particular owls. So Mr. Jingles is actually part of a pair. Um, unfortunately, I lost Mrs. Jingles um, earlier this year. Um, so he's now a widower, I'm sorry to say. Um, and um, since that time, the pair, uh, the pair of them actually produced a lot of young. Last year, um, they were costing me a fortune because I had um, at least 25 young harvest mice that I brought, I fed through the winter. Can I have another one? I fed through the winter and all of those young mice were released into the wild. Um, they were all released over near Bath in, on a farm uh, called Elm Farm. And um, that's a really, really good place for harvest mice because it's a uh, farm that the farmers have a lot of uh, schemes running there. They're committed conservationists. Philippa and John Paget, and uh, the mice were released into one of their fields. It has lots of winter seed crops and uh, other mustard and other, other types of crops. So it's a really, really good place for them. And we know that that land is going to be managed sensitively. And um, so they went to a happy place. Having said that, the lifespan of harvest mice is not very long. In the wild, harvest mice generally live between 6 and 18 months, if they're lucky. Um, whereas in captivity, hopefully as long as five years. And um, this, this mouse here, um, as I say, I'm very fond of him. And he is a small member of the team. And uh, as you can see, he's extremely happy and, well, enjoying his, his mealworms at the moment.